Okay, so first I'm gonna cut all these flappy things off here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we're gonna work on a different kind of project. We're making junk journals out of boxes. In this case, a cookie box, but any box will do. You can watch me struggle, you know, my new adventure here. Uh, I also find out uh, through the project that I don't have enough supplies and um, I'm low on glue and all that, but you know, the store is not too far away, so I'll restock that. I'm doing this to kind of get into a different kind of art practice, a little bit more hands-on. I'm still going to do lots of painting. This is going to be the chunk channel I'm going to use for putting all my um, sketches in. So I'll like to work on a flower um, floral series soon and I'll I'm start going to start a art sketchbook. And I'm gonna the, the ones I'm liking the most, the ones I'm I want to use in a bigger series. I will glue into this junk journal and kind of keep a journal of my new project I'm gonna work on. Kind of weird though. I think it must have been a bigger box. I thought this was the same box. <laughs> Maybe it was. Most likely it was this box. Anyway, it doesn't matter. These are good to find as well. So we'll do that with all four of them, but now I'm going to think about what to put on the outside. So I'll go get a few samples. So after searching for a while, I found this beautiful handmade paper. But it's see-through. So I'm going to decided to paint this black. I have some chalkboard paper paint. I hope it's still some in there. I'm just going to paint it black to have a dark background. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just want to have a more neutral background. You don't see all these numbers and stuff. Let's get some water. So when I was waiting to let this dry, I thought maybe I should well cover the whole thing, but no, I'm just gonna do one side and then stick other things in the on the inside. So um let's go like that. How much I'm gonna leave for them. If it's framed, then I can stick whatever over top. That'd be a good idea. Uh, four.
If it's hard to cut. Yeah, well, let's try this. I did this side. I'll show you in a second. That fold didn't go that way, but oh well. I'm gonna trim these edges off. The question the way light I had before is all gone now. Okay, there you go. So we got this. So what I was thinking is. Definitely gonna make one with flowers. So there. So I have a bunch of doilies, so they're gonna be part of it. I have these beautiful Japanese origami papers full of flowers so they'll be part of it and I got a bunch of these printed out these are from old screen printing sheets so I have flower ones and then I have a couple of woodland creature ones there's something missing here but it's gonna be okay I'll stick it inside making the signatures which I'm going to show you in the next video. Because this one is going to be long enough. But we're just going to try to finish out the front here.
something. Lots of layers on this one. <laughs> so I, but I think it looks pretty good, don't you think? What do you think? You're gonna look adorable. Cute! Like an old fashioned one. Since I have this, I might as well finish this off. Just kind of see one. The inside. I think it's okay if they go on the outside. Just kind of put some tape around it anyway. Okay, so I cut out my little flower. Didn't do a super great job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little more cutting here. And I cut out the leaves individually. I'm still struggling with this annoying, if you can see the glue there now, so whatever, it's shiny. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna obviously keep this from me because it's not good enough to be sold. I need to put all Mod Podge around here. Mod Podge, whatever it's called, Podge Podge. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I covered this with Mod Podge. Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge. Um, but this tape, for some reason, does not want to stick even with that on and even with glue on i had to glue this down it's finally kind of glued down now 
with the this glue, the clear glue, but unfortunately you can see this. But anyway, I'm just gonna go with it now. So I cut this out. This is gonna go in the middle here. I think it's gonna look really cute. And these ones are gonna go on the back. I'm not sure if I'm cutting these out too or not or not. I kinda like it them sticking out. So I'm gonna do that now. Cut out the flower and put it on here with Mod Podge. I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna work on our um, signatures. <laughs> 